Greg, what's our first headline? Our first headline is uh, Halloween themed here. Sean White, the Olympian, was forced to apologize this week to the Special Olympics community after dressing up as Simple Jack, which is a character uh, from the movie Tropic Thunder, uh, mentally handicapped character. He, he apologized for being offensive, said it was uh, a last-minute decision, and it was the wrong one. No way it was a last-minute decision. He's been thinking about that for an entire year. Uh, it's a complicated costume, Simple Jack. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, the famous expression, we're not, gonna, we're not going to try to offend anyone, but they have a conversation in the movie about how you never go full retard. You want to be partially mentally retarded in movies, you'll get an Oscar that way. But you go full retard, you're, you're sitting home at Oscar night. And this is coming from a guy, Robert Downey Jr., who is head to toe in blackface. So uh, Sean White picked a movie where a character is in blackface the entire time and picked the more offensive character <laughs> to portray. Uh, and he's like proud of it. He's like bragging about it on Instagram. My favorite part about this is why did he apologize to the Special Olympics? Like I can imagine me like, I'm sorry to anyone I offended. If you, uh, if you have a mentally handicapped child or you're mentally handicapped yourself and this upset you, I apologize to you. But why was he going to the organization of Special Olympics as if they had something to do with the movie? As if it was like, as if it was like a character rights thing? Or as if the Special Olympics would ever cut him off? And be like, hey, Sean... <laughs> no thanks. We saw your Halloween costume last year. We're going to let someone else play in the snow with these kids who are trying to st strap a board to their feet. They're lucky he hangs out at all. He didn't owe them an apology. He should, they should apologize to him for not helping with his <laughs> costume. Well, they, they they made a statement saying that they were disappointed. And even, even back when the Tropic but Thunder came out, they, were, they said they were disappointed. When in the history of the Special Olympics, and I'm sure it's long and varied, have they not been at least vaguely disappointed? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're an organization based on disappointment. I, I just can't believe, you know, Sean White uh, wasn't the guy to kind of explain, like, the the comedic complexity going on in, in Simple Jack that it was really kind of poking fun at self-important actors who, you know, play mentally handicapped people, you know, because it just seemed like he would have he would have had it down. The only way Sean would have come out on top is if he had gone like, I'm b -b 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 very sorry. Like that would have been amazing. <laughs> Listen, Erica, I know you've been going through a breakup. You've been a little sad. So we have this next story just for you, just oh, to cheer thanks. you up. Go ahead, Greg. All right. Um, Chris Sale. World Series champion, <laughs> three outs, got the final three uh, for the Red Sox, but uh, his dad sort of became a viral uh, sensation after there was a video taken of his dad shirtless, swinging his shirt around during the ninth inning as his son was winning the World Series, which just kind of got me thinking, like, what's the most embarrassing thing your your dad or your parents have done? See, Erica, does it make you feel better? Yeah, like it does. Like to hear that story? Like, yeah. if, Chris Sales, if Chris Dale can still love his dad, after his dad embarrassed him like that, someone could still love you one day. <laughs> Maybe. Like not anytime soon, like when you're in that breakup zone, like you're kind of yeah. unlovable for six months to a year, I think, that okay. you're like kind of closed off. Yeah. I mean, but definitely I mean, while you're on this juice cleanse, nothing's happening for I you. Know. Know. I yeah. Know. I would get, if I were you, I would get a cat, like a pet that would only live for six months. So oh, when okay. you do find someone again, you don't, you're not burdened by the <laughs> animal. Down. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that would help you out. Um, my, I, I guarantee my parents, most of my dad's most embarrassing story is better. And this is not the most, like, I would never throw my dad under the bus or my mom under the bus, even though I could and I will once they're dead and I write a book. <laughs> wait, wait for that. Rest of the family. Everyone's waiting but for it. <laughs> the Anthony's parents get shit on book. Oh, my God. The, if you, if you Imagine what it took to make me. Imagine how many mistakes you had to make along the way. <laughs> Imagine how many books you had to not read about how to raise a kid to get me. Uh, this is my favorite. I went to Montessori school. I was the oldest of five kids. And at one point in Montessori school, it was myself and two sisters in school. So three kids out of a school of, let's say, like a class of like, there are 100 kids in the school on different levels. And they have an end of the year uh, like banquet, like an end of the year like celebration. There's cake and juice and stuff. And parents are meeting teachers and stuff. And my dad gets the job of doing a slideshow of all of the students of like a recap of the year and parents and teachers give my dad pictures from all these different students so everyone can be represented mm -hmm. and they start the slideshow they turn the lights off <laughs> and the first picture is me <laughs> uh just like running everyone's kind of like ah the second picture is one of my sisters uh the third picture is a different sister 
the fourth picture is like the three of us together. Oh my <laughs> and I swear to God, 95 Ninety-six percent of the pictures of a hundred uh, slideshow. How many people are watching? This? Everyone. Everyone is watching is it. Like it is hundreds because it's like a hundred kids <laughs> and then all of their parents. And you would have thought if you had just walked in, you would have thought this was like a tribute to three children who had died that year <laughs> in the school. It was so unbelievable. And at the time, I didn't understand, but I've been told later how what a humiliating experience that was for my mother. And that everyone was very upset with my dad. And my dad's excuse was, I just took the best pictures. <laughs> like, I just took, like, the best ones aesthetically. <laughs> and they just happened to be my kids. <laughs> but it was a, a ma like, the balls to be like, yeah, I'll do the slideshow for the school. And then only put three of his kids into it. It does, it does say a lot, though, of how you came out. Because uh, I think your dad just, you know, believed in, in his heart. Here are the, here are the best looking badasses in the school. Yeah, if you were like, hey, d uh, and, dad. Uh, like he raised he raised a, a family of people who just believe no matter what, that they're the best looking and they're the best. Oh, no, I think it, now everyone knows that it's that's I'm the best one. Like it's <laughs> all been kind of like I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger and they're all Danny DeVito. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like tied together. Uh, but if you ask my dad, like uh, if I, you were like Mr. Jessel, like who's better looking, Anthony or Gr you wouldn't even get to the egg. OK, he wouldn't even waffle. He knows the answer. <laughs>